is Thursday, December 7th, and this is episode 36 of Three Sisters Knit. I'm Sheila, and you can find me on Ravelry as SheShe62. And I'm Margaret, and you can find me on Ravelry as Magpie60. Um, and we also have a group on Ravelry, uh, Three Sisters Knit podcast, if you want to look for us there. Um, and we'd like to welcome you to our show, uh, returning visitors. Thank you so much for spending some time with us. And if you're a new uh, person um, checking us out, well, we hope you find something that you um, that sparks your interest. Yes. Um, so we are going to talk a little bit about... Um, so we just finished deciding how we were yes. going to do yes. this. So we're going to talk about... Um, your FOs. My for, FOs first. First, I want to say, yes, yes I know. <laughs> I fell the other day. Yeah. I did a face plant. The curb just jumped up and bit my chin. Yeah. yeah. So it's quite swollen. It doesn't yeah. look as bad as it did, but it's like so bruised underneath yeah, here. Yeah, the underneath like, part so, is so really bad. It's that, it's that horrible dark purple bruise. Yeah, it's starting to turn green. <laughs> yes, though, so. especially under here. Yeah. But this is like, it's just nasty. Yeah. You can't really see it. It doesn't much, look as bad on there, but it's, it's bad. It's so bad. yes, I know I have, it looks now. I wanted, yeah. I wanted to walk. So we'll just deal with it today. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. It's just to say what it is. I've scraped my chin. <laughs> yeah. And it's hugely swollen. So, and I can't feel a darn thing because it's so swollen. It just feels like numb, like I've been to the Ooh. dentist. So, but I survived. Yeah. That's so, good. yeah, hurt um, the wrist a bit, but that's, it's not so bad. But it's bad. your left wrist. It's my left wrist. And you're so. not, you're not a continental knitter. No, you're I'm an not. English yeah. knitter. So yep. you use your right hand. Yeah. So. so it's all good. I've been knitting every day since. So yeah. and it hasn't that's good. bothered me. So, that's yeah. Good. So, um, and so I may as well talk a little bit. We, we're using our Remembrance Pottery yes. um, mugs, the, the handleless mugs or yep. tumblers, I guess they are. Yep. And you just finished making us some red wine, red hot, wine chocolate. hot chocolate. <laughs> and there's, uh, I don't know if I can show and it to you, but there's in whipped there. cream on, in yep. there as well. It's quite, quite low down. You were just saying it doesn't make very yeah, much. Yeah, it doesn't make very much. Which is probably fine because... Honestly, yeah. I took a sip and it's like, ooh, you and can like taste a, it. I doubled, taste well, wine. I doubled the recipe and mm. then I went, oh, I think I made a mistake with something. So I had to add more cream and I added, <laughs> instead of measuring to where I just went, oh, there, that looks good. <laughs> that looks good. <laughs> Wing it. So, That's often but, how yep, it turns out really well. Yeah. So it's quite tasty. So mm -hmm. maybe if I do it the right way the next time. Yeah. It's very tasty. It's it like warm and chocolatey. It's sort of like the red wine is given the chocolate mm -hmm. a kind of an oomph to it, like a yes. real richness. Mm. It's so, delicious. And it's I delicious. used cream instead of milk. It calls oh, for milk, nice. but I used the half and half. Mm. Yeah. Best mm -hmm. thing for hot chocolate. So, mm -hmm. And then some whipped cream. Woohoo! So it's quite decadent. Yes, it is. And very... I'm having a really hard time putting it down. But um, <laughs> since I said that I would talk first, I'm going to talk about my FOs. And I'm just, I'm so excited because I actually have two. Yes, she does. I have Woo! two. So the first one is uh, last time I talked about, um, I was working on my Holly Jolly socks. And I have posted photos mm -hmm. on Instagram. Um, although not everything, um, not the, the completed ones, but I have finished them. Oh, I meant to get those those sock Oh, blockers. they're right there. Okay, so um, anyway, you, I have my Holly Jolly socks. She's on finished time. them! Yay! Yay! See toes all the way down, and I made yes. them matchy matchy. Yes. So um, they they match perfectly, and yes. I put them on, and they're super comfy, and I adore these. They're these are the wonderful. ones with the sparkle in them. Yes, you can, you can see, see it. Look at the that sparkle. sparkle. With that gold sparkle. Oh my gosh, so, so pretty. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I just, I love these. Now, I had planned to try and get these done for um, Monday, this past Monday, because I was having dinner with some former colleagues, um, and I really wanted to wear them, because mm -hmm. I just thought, I have to show them off. I have to show them what I'm doing. Yes. <laughs> but um, I didn't quite. Should I just wore one. <laughs> yeah. I had one done and I had um, about here. I had uh, done the leg and then also done the heel. And then I had done to about here. But I, I didn't get yeah. this last bit done. And I knew I wouldn't. I actually she got She some, tried. But yeah, I got some freelance work in. There's some one of the projects I'm working on. There's a lot of last minute things. And so mm -hmm. I got that and I thought, well, this is well, and that happens too. Eh? Yeah. When it, so because there is always a couple of last minute things. Yeah. With your job. So anyway, they're done. And 
I could not be happier. Um, I did try them on. I'll post some photos on Instagram of me, of my feet, wearing mm -hmm. them. <laughs> yes. But yeah, oh my gosh. If you ever have a chance to order Christina's yarn, yeah, and and these like it was just so fun to knit and yes. see what the next ones are and I know and I just you thing, just want to keep going when I it's feel like, yarn like so that. this I used the smooth operator and the only difference I did was um, I used the rounded toe that mm -hmm. is in the Rose City Rollers um, just because I find I really like, like that. that toe much better this I do kind too. Of triangular with the cutoff that, yeah because essentially that's what the toe is in smooth operator. it's basically it's the, same, the same as the heel is the um i'm not keen on that whereas yeah. this it's sort of like a little bit more natural for my foot shape yeah. so i i did that one instead but i found that my i find my tension is really good on this oh that's um, good i just feel like you feel now that you've done a, a few, few couple pairs socks. of socks you're feeling like you're you're finally getting your tension yes. down and i even found although i did still have to sew up a little bit mm -hmm. i found that the holes were much less that's obvious. good that's good i like, like it, you have to you yeah, to do just three have to or four do pairs three or four. and really, so really work out. I think that's like them. my fifth pair of socks or something mm -hmm. like that. So yeah, so I'm really happy, and it's I think the third pair I've done with that that smooth operator pattern. Yes. So so that was one. Then this other one, I finished it, and I was so like into. Oh, the, you just started knitting. that yesterday. I know. I so I finished it's, it last night. You yarn, and I had, I think I even talked about this maybe last year. I had knit. This, it was yarn that you gave me from, mm -hmm. I think, from Picasso's Moon. I yes. meant to look out the, the little tag, but I, yes. I forgot to look for it. It's gorgeous. But it's this gorgeous yarn, and I think I made myself a scarf. And I just kind of cast on and started just, knitting. Yeah. Um, but it was one of those things where I should have done fewer stitches, so it would have made it a bit longer, because mm -hmm. it was like this weird length. Just, yeah, it awkward wasn't, length. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't the right length. So I've been looking at it. I have a, a, a chair in my office and I have a couple of project bags on it because, of course, you know, I'm not going to sit in this chair. Yes. <laughs> um, so, but I had this. a very pretty chair. Yeah. So I had this hanging over the arm of the chair and I would look at it when I go in and out of my office and I'd think, oh, I you gotta, get that. Mm. I got to make something with that. Yeah. I love that yarn. I love that yarn. And I was watching the grocery girls the other day and Tracy had made a hat and I was looking at the yarn and now somebody had given her a hat kit that came with this really cute fur, pom -pom. furry pom-pom, actually two furry pom-poms. And mm. I thought that was a really kind of a cute gift, but I, I saw color. it and the colors, while not the same at all, it made me think of this speckle yarn and I thought, I should just make myself that. Yeah. So I went on to Ravelry and I found this. No, I didn't print the first page, but I found this. It's called the Snowblower Hat. It's a free pattern and it's from um, Miss Babs. So, sorry, my printer does this weird line effect yeah. thing. So, but you can kind of see the pattern there. Yeah. Um, it's not really a cable and that's only on like a portion of it and the rest of it is just knit yeah it doesn't show it on that other picture at the back yeah it might show another well you don't really see it. it's more just the top but no, but you can just sort of see it there's another photo but anyway you can see that's from Miss fab so i suggest going to look for it because it's a really it's super easy here's a whole bunch so you can kind of see yeah, you what the pattern see it right is there you can see it yeah where it goes and then it's the just stocking it across yeah, or which is essentially knitting so it's called the snowblower hat and this is my snowblower hat yay look so, at that it's so cute yeah you need a pom-pom though well i have this much left so oh. what i did is i used this like a sock yarn like a sock blank <laughs> she just and i just did it right off it. of it yeah and i That's so nice. i have this left and i thought well, may, should I make a pom pom? What do you think? Yeah. See, you can sort of see the pattern here. Yeah. This and it's not it's not a cable. You don't need no. a cable needle or anything. It's it's just the way she does the, the stitches. Stitch. Yeah. And it sort of looks really it looks really cool. I thought. Yeah. So. Anyway, that's so that's it. I and love then, that green. If you could I know, green with a pom pom, pom if you put a I know. green, it would just make that green pop. I know. It? So I could essentially, I could make a pom pom out of that, but I think it wouldn't. 
I, I think just it would get stand lost. Out. Yes, that's why I think you need a green pom pom yeah. because it's got that little bits of the green, like a nice yeah. chartreuse or something yes. like that would look just amazing. Yeah. So it might be neat to actually go and find um, a fur one. It's a faux fur. Like the faux fur, yes. of course. Of course, faux fur. And I've seen the ones in the, and, you, and they have snaps. snaps. And that way you can take it off to wash Which them. is what I would really yeah. love. Now, I don't really know where or to go I've for, heard for those. You but... do a button. And what you do is you make the pom. You, what you do is if you get a pom pom, you yeah. can sort of get some threads, but put a button on the inside and you yeah. bring the thread through and button it around so it stays on. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's another option. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, so I, anyway, I want to look for, what I'd like to do is look for a, a, a sort of a chartreuse yeah. pom-pom. I, I think, think that would that be would really be cool. perfect. Mostly it's, because it's it'll just bit, make that little no, bit, because there's not a lot of the green in there, the no. greeny yellow in that, but I think it would just make it pop. Yeah, and so when I, anyway, when I, the thing is I made the pattern based on her finish size mm -hmm. version, and I, of course, I didn't do a gauge swatch. So I did, I measured my head like this, mm -hmm. Now I've got a small head and but lots thick of hair. hair. <laughs> so I measured it and it came to about like twenty one and three quarters inches or something See, like that. See, it's huge on me. And it's it's a little bit big for me. But I could also wear it back and wear it a bit slouchy. See? Yeah, see, I would never do that. No, I I, I'm not really a slouchy one. I no. like my forehead covered. Me too. I like my ears If I need covered. to wear a hat, I this need to. This is me. If it's snowing and it's horrible, this is me. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, and I'll have, I'll have like a scarf up to here. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> no, if it's that bad, I just don't go outside. I know. <laughs> Generally, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, there but, are those times. But yeah, so I just oh, that's thought, so cute. It's, I thought it was really cute, and it's big enough. Yeah, like it is a bit big. Um, I think I would have made this, and not only that, I used like she calls for a six point five millimeter, which I think would be a size a U.S. size five. Mm -hmm. oh, no, I sheets. can't remember. My sheets underneath. But um, so. But uh, anyway, I used a, a hat like a size down, and I don't think, yeah, I I could have gone down a so size. So U.S. ten and a half. U.S. ten and a half. Okay. So, um, anyway, that's that's my second defo, and I'm really happy. Like I just I love the way it looks. I love it. That's yeah. absolutely adorable. Yeah. It's such just a, adorable. I know. That's what I thought. So cute. So, anyway. I got my I got myself a winter hat in yeah. colors that I love. I've got myself a pair of um, Christmas socks. Yes. So I those are my, it's my amazing. Elbows. You work with chunky yarn. Oh you my just, god! Just, I started done. last night and I finished. Uh, so I started like at five thirty. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because you, I you knit for a few hours. hours. Yeah. And then I had dinner, um, and I knit a little bit more after dinner and then um dad facetimed me last night so mm -hmm. i chatted with him and then i did a little bit more knitting but then i thought eh, i'm kind of over it and then i got up this morning and i did some more knitting mm. so and it, it was you know done. if you if you <laughs> wanted if you had like a day or three quarters of a day well it depends on how fast a knitter because yeah. you're a slower knitter than i am yeah like you, so i probably could have had it done but if you have a, a day, day where you are going to mm -hmm. be like doing laundry or like things where do you're kind of rows, do a few rows stop, go, and, go. Yeah. yeah you could do it in a day like it's just Fabulous. it's so quick and easy so Wonderful. yeah it's the snowblower hat by um it's Ms. adorable Babs. it's I know. really really nice i just need some chunky yarn yeah i don't yeah. want chunky yarn that's one of the things i don't generally yeah i think i anyway buy. it might be bulky or something like that mm -hmm. but anyway so that's my two fo's and i'm Lovely. so excited because i have two i have none <laughs> I yeah. have none. Yeah, well, you've had some, I've ha so I yes, feel like I'm I, I, well, up now. Well, I did, I did a, um, somebody commissioned me to do some stuff, and oh. I finished that. I dropped it off today. Good. So that's done. Mm -hmm. I sh was supposed to drop it off yesterday, and it just, phew, gone. <laughs> Forgot to do that. But I do have a whip, and I am making a pair of socks for, well, I did the one Straight they come pair. together. They come together by the cozy knitter. Yep. I did that sock for my middle son because mm -hmm. he's a huge Toronto Maple Leaf fan, mm -hmm. and it's the colors. Um, so I thought, well, I have to make. I can do a pair of socks in about a week. Mm -hmm. So um, my youngest son loves green. Mm -hmm. Now I bought this yarn when we were at the KW, mm -hmm. 
and it it's was the from, Kitchener Waterloo yeah. Fiber Festival. And it's from a store in Coburg, which we're going to have to visit. And I found yes. another one too. Okay. Um, called Artisanthropy. And so it's a relatively new store, and I think yes. this was the first time they had a booth at the yes. Kitchener Waterloo. And it just so happened one. to be beside where Amanda and Christine, where they all, where Amanda right. and Jen and Shauna had, had their, their booth. booth. Yes, where we were sort of staged. Yes, and so we discovered this place, and I think yeah. they, it's a young woman um, who has this shop. And we haven't been to it yet. No, I um, haven't. But, but we I'm do want really we looking forward really to going because she had go. a really kind of nice selection of yarns. Yes. She has as well as other. She has uh, a ton of stuff, and she's she is on Instagram. Instagram, and yep. we follow her on Instagram. She has, um, I think, she also has embroidery supplies. Yeah. Tatting supplies. Oh wow. She's got the tatting shuttles. Okay. Um, she's got tons of yarn and I can't even remember. You bought a skein and I bought a skein. Yes. We each bought a skein and I can't even remember the brand of yarn. No, I can't either. But it wasn't, it was a, um, larger. Yes. Yeah. Cause it was like, a, it wasn't it was a, Cascade. It wasn't, but it was like a big one. Maybe yeah. it was Malabrego. I'm not yeah, sure. I'm not sure I can't remember. Was. But anyways, he loves green and I just love the color of this. Yeah. With the teal in there. Oh, it's gorgeous. And, and it, both socks are knitting up the same but different. Yeah. So. Oh, it's like these micro stripes. And yes. I love the look of that. Yes. It's not really I like stripe, that. But if you stripes, look at but... this one, I've got it folded up because I'm not working on it right yet. Look oh. at all the tealy blue oh, in wow. this one, right? This one's got so much more than yeah. this one. And it's from, but one, you're working one from the inside, one from the one inside, from the one from the outside. So I have my button. Mm-hmm. That I do that way. And I'll just, every once in a while, I'll just untwist it. Mm -hmm. So it's when you're working from the outside that it twists. When you're working Whoa. from the inside, it doesn't twist because you're pulling from the center, the center. and it's not wrapping around the other one. Mm -hmm. So, and I've got my, I'm using um, my Knitter's Pride Carbons for mm -hmm. one. And my, this one is my, um, oh, the the Lika. Yeah. Needles. Yeah. Which I love them. I know. Oh, I did my so I did nice my to socks. work with. They're lovely to yeah. work with. You know what I like really, about really them? Nice. Um I love a I've said this before. I love a wood needle mm -hmm. cuz I like the sort of extra and stickiness that so it gives. So smooth. And they're but they're super these are really smooth mm -hmm. and yet not as slippery as a metal needle. Yes. But for a wooden needle, I find the tip a really nice it's a sharp nice tip. Point. A lot of wood ones have a have a much duller tip, but yes. these have like look at the tip on this. I'm gonna show you. Like look at the tip. Yeah. The tip is like so nice. Yeah, actually take Here's your hand tip. away because I think showing against the black of your shirt okay. would be Oh here, let me do it against my sleeve. It'll be yeah. easier and closer. I yeah. I've got so much stuff, stuff here. there. Yeah. Just a sec. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, they're really, really sharp. Yeah. Super sharp. Yes, they are quite nice. Yeah. Quite nice. They're a really good tip. Like, and I just love them. They're, and their join is so smooth. Mm -hmm. It's such a lovely join. Mm -hmm. And it's nice and smooth. So I and really, really like it. On, uh, the size is on the black yeah. part. Is just on this part of the join. Just before joins. the needle. Mm -hmm. So it's not... Um, sometimes they're at their, like stamped into the wood These and then, and then it wears off because I've had yeah. I have ones that well, are like that that's if they're sort of like laser printed on mm. I find that they wear off mm -hmm. um these but there's ones that literally like they're almost etched into the wood mm. and you can you can sort of slightly feel, feel them it. but mm -hmm. not in a bad way because they're yeah. very smoothed over um so but yeah so that's what I'm working on and I'm getting a skein of yarn from a man, hopefully Amanda remembers tonight, and I'm going to make another pair of socks for my other mm -hmm. son. So these are for my youngest son. So we'll just have to see. Yeah. What how, how it goes because I'm trying one. to get them done, but with that fall, my shoulders are still a little yeah a little sore because like you just go down right yeah. Just, oh. So um, like such a tool. Then the only other whip that I have that I was show that I showed last week. So this is in my trail and twine bag. Mm -hmm. um, is I did do a little bit more on oh, and my. You're waiting for rain. Yeah, but since the last time I showed it, but I didn't haven't really. I think I worked on a knit night last week, so mm -hmm. 
I've only done um, like from the end of the just from the, the pattern unit, from her from her little progress keeper yeah. to there. Yeah, so it's only like an inch and a half, maybe. That's fine. But um, you but can that's work on, You can work on some more tonight. Yeah, I could probably do that. So, well, since it's all I've got mm -hmm. to work on, that's that's I've done a little bit, um, and I'm hoping to have that done. Well, by Christmas Eve, because I do want to have like a Christmas Eve cast on. Yes. Um, yeah. So I'm kind of considering, I've got two projects that I'm considering mm -hmm. for my Christmas Eve cast on. Uh, one is the Obliviate socks. Mm. I was, because I really liked them. She the really liked that. them when she saw mine. She well, just really fell in love with them. that's why I bought the pattern, because mm -hmm. I just, I loved the pattern. Um, and so I have that um, uh, sock blank from Andre Sue Knits. Mm. Um, with the, the, the little girl. The little girl kicking up a water pot In a puddle in the rain. Yeah, yes. and I just thought it was adorable. And I think I'd like to do those Obliviate socks. Because yes. what I was saying to Sheila is, They're very I love nice. the idea of, so Obliviate makes me think of Hermione. And it's based on, yes. it's like a. It's based on the Hermione Hermione's sock. Hermione's everyday socks. And, um, and then it has this little girl who's like out there and having fun and kind of making her way in the world and kicking yep. up puddles. And I just thought Hermione's a lot like that. So mm -hmm. to me, this sock she blank is. needs to be an Obliviate sock. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. It'll look adorable. It will look really yeah. nice. So, um, so I'm, that is something I'm considering for my Christmas Eve cast on. The other thing is, so again, we're talking about trying to use up some stuff. So yes. I've had this bag and one of the skeins that's in here for about a year and a half. Yeah. So this is a Mrs. Brown's bags, and I think it's a, because it's very obviously it's not her usual style, but it was something she did with Amanda, um, the, the yarn yes. enabler. Mm -hmm. um, yes, they did a kit together. They did a kit together, and so it was this with this colorway. So these That's colors gorgeous. Um, are from it's the bag. Fades. Yes, yeah. it fades. And it fades. And it's sparkly, which mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, Ooh, yes, you can, can see, see it's yes, sparkly. It's lovely. Um, so I thought I would do that. Maybe it shows it a little better, I think. Yeah, but, but you don't see sparkle. all the colors. No. And then I, when we were down um, in, uh, on our trip a year, our just trip, over a year and ago. So this was at the shop in Rhode Island, which loves uh, to knit. Love to knit. Um, we found uh marinated yarns and i was looking for a gray because i thought it would look really good with this yes. um, yarn from amanda's and um so i got this gray and it's called um right here drizzly day drizzly day which is perfectly appropriate because it's just that kind of gray yeah <laughs> so this is her scrumptious ht fingering weight yeah high twist yeah um and I love a high twist, but there's a really nice halo on it. So because there's, like, cashmere. there's cashmere, eighty ten ten, eighty ten ten. So I thought I would do so nice the, the heels, uh, toes, and cuffs. In no, it? no, no, oh. I'm not gonna do socks. These oh, are too okay. nice for socks. Um, although I could, but what I thought I would do is the moon shadow shawl. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I would do. No, I did it in worsted weight, but yeah. I think it'll still work. It's just yeah. it's it's. It's such a basic pattern. It's a really basic I pattern. I think you could use it for whatever yarn you wanted. So I thought, I think I'll do that. You just end up using a little bit more. And even yeah. and if you want, you could use um, a needle that's a little bit bigger than you would yeah. use for that. Like instead yeah. of using your two millimeter that you yeah. usually do, yeah. I would use maybe a three and a half. Three yeah. to a three and a half. Yeah. Just because you want it, it'll be really, really drapey then. Yeah. And that's so what you want. that's something I'm considering doing, or I could do socks. That would be kind of fun. But they're mm -hmm. because it's a fade. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think I did mine. It's all a matter of no. I mean socks yeah. uh, as a fade. I just uh, that yarn that yeah. kind of fades from one color to the yeah. next. I just don't think that would work for socks. To me, it was always going to be a shawl. I had a gradient one. Yeah. And it was the gray with the sparkly. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it was dark to a really, really pale, 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 pale gray. Yeah. I had to, I think it went like dark, like dark. Maybe that's why I was able mm. to do mine. Yeah. Because I was able to split the, I wound it up mm -hmm. and I was able to cake it up so that 
I started one from the inside and one from the outside yeah. of the ball and mm -hmm. I was able to knit them up so they were light at the toes and dark at the leg. Okay. So, but I think this is just a and they match. This is way. all different, like several yes. colors. Yeah, and I think yeah. It, it doesn't. One to yes, the other. it just. Yeah, it go, I don't think it goes back and forth. Mm -mm. So, but you can ask so, Amanda. Yeah. So I think that's that's something I'm thinking of doing. Mm. Sounds wonderful. Um, or those obliviate socks as my mm -hmm. my um, Christmas Eve cast on. Mm, that'll be so nice. Yeah. Though that uh, those obliviate socks really with just like a hint of a speckle. In them mm -hmm. is gorgeous. They're so gorgeous. I'm assuming because I've never worked from a sock blank that's had a picture mm -hmm. on it. I'm assuming. I think most of the background in that is a bluish. It's a bluish. Color, yeah. That it'll that'll be the most that it will show up, Dominant and color. then it's going to be because I think there's a tree. Yes. And the little girl's wearing a, a yellow red, and red. red. Isn't she? Yeah, yellow. So. A yellow. Um, uh, raincoat yeah and I think red, red boots. boots so and then there's maybe some darker with mm -hmm. the puddle and yeah. stuff so I'm assuming it's gonna have a, a some bit of sort a speckle. of a speckle in it um it's amazing yeah, when you knit them up because we've never knit up from a picture one a picture one so I think it's gonna be really interesting to see yeah. so I'm assuming it's gonna be some kind of speckling thing happening yeah so we'll just kind of have to wait and see. Yeah. So, but That's yeah, awesome. I'm just, I'm so excited. Wait. Like, it's so beautiful. You don't want to use it. I know because I want to, I want to cast on a pair of socks on Christmas Eve. Do, mm -hmm. do the Christmas Eve cast on. I know a lot of people follow um, other people and do, spe do a specific, specific sock pattern. Yeah. I'm just like, oh, hell no. I'll just, <laughs> just do, do what it. I want. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just yeah, do whatever when I want. Mm -hmm. I just like the idea of, um, just joining in. Just joining in. Mm -hmm. And uh, like we don't, my husband and I don't do anything on Christmas Eve. Yeah. That's, you know, we might have a nice dinner for the two of us or something, but we don't actually go and mm -hmm. visit people or anything like yeah. that. I mean, we have memories. Mom and dad always did something on Christmas Eve. Yes. Um, our street, it was interesting because of the street we grew up on, um, so many of the people, like the the, yes. my parents age so the adults yes. on the street the homeowners they're all in their um, 80s now <laughs> yeah but they almost all of them were from somewhere else yeah so mom and dad were from scotland uh, we they had were, um german one, england polish english yeah south african um like oh, they just so like, all it over. was all over. all over and as well as um you know several generation of uh, Canadians. Canadians but uh, this English couple used to have um, a Christmas Eve do and every Christmas every Eve. Christmas Eve. Oh, it was always and so nice so they always my our parents and all the, the other adults Neighbors. would go um, and this was back in the 60s so 70s and yeah, into 60s, the 70s, 70s but even yeah. when we were young I, I mean they, even in the 80s they, they did it, yeah, yeah but even when we were young, it was back in the time when they could have left us for a couple of hours. Oh, we would go which to they sleep. did, even which they though did. we were under twelve. <laughs> under twelve, but they, you know, because they, they were just put us to street. bed and away they would go, right? Yeah. And they would every once in a while someone would come, come by and, and check, check. And make sure that there's no, no <laughs> like you fire would never no do one. that now. No. But back in the day, it was perfectly fine. <laughs> I know. I know. I <laughs> so know. anyway, so but we don't have that kind no. of tradition. I find. No. Uh, nowadays, most people, even if you're in a subdivision, so many people kind of come and go. Yeah. That uh, you, on our street, anyway. Um, the the other thing that's very interesting about the street we live on is almost everybody who is there is um, sort of self-employed. So you find that mm -hmm. um, I find self-employed people tend to be not loners so much but they're not joiners so much yes. either yes they're not um anyway so i find yeah. people are not looking to make friends as adults yes. so i find that um we don't know our neighbors as well as our parents yeah. knew yeah. our neighbors exactly exactly and well also not even that i think our the subdivision we grew up in everybody there excuse me the majority of people it mm -hmm. was their first house and mm -hmm. i find and because even now, when it's people, when it's somebody's first house or it's mm -hmm. a brand new subdivision, mm -hmm. people tend to be that a mm -hmm. little bit friendlier because everybody, it's everybody's kind of yeah in it together, yeah. in the same position. I know, and I find that, um, and that's the other thing is everybody. It's sort of like it's their first home. 
Mm -hmm. They Especially started if having young. children. Yep. Um, so on our street, there hasn't always been a lot of kids. And so no. my husband and I don't have children. So you don't have that connection. Well, at least getting to know or who your connection. neighbors are. Yeah, because like the kids are one together. commonality. Yeah. So yeah. there, there's no reason to go and meet yes. anybody. So, yes. So, yeah, we don't really have any of that. My favorite tradition is actually just having a nice meal. Mm -hmm. And if possible, if um, a Christmas carol comes I know, on. that's my favorite. Yeah, the old black and white one. One with Alistair Sims. With Alistair Sims. Yes, my favorite. It has to be that one. Yes. Um, I love just sitting and watching that. Yep. That, me too. Yeah. We were so busy, like with me having the kids, we were so busy yeah. at just always getting things ready. But I rem one of my favorite memories also... Um, it's Christmas Day. We would open our stuff, mm -hmm. and the people across the road they had a boy and a girl, yeah, and and our age, mm -hmm. and our parents were I would say they were fairly close, and we would rotate years mm -hmm. every year. We would rotate who who cooked breakfast for yeah. everyone. Yeah. So we would like go over to their house. Yeah, we would exchange dad. gifts, and, and, and they would cook this would breakfast, cook, yeah. or they would come to our place. And and it we, was cool because it was always it was either our dad or their dad. Yeah. They, so it wasn't the moms; it was yeah, the dads. So yeah. it was really yeah. It was it, such a fun we, tradition so to have. So much fun. So much. It fun. was it was really good, and I think mm. part of the reason on our street that it was like that is that. Um, a lot because of people, the families were so were far were away. So far away. So, like yeah. most of our family was in, in Scotland. Scotland. So, and that was it. Others, you know, yep. like I said, they all came from other countries. So yep. their families were all back in those countries. Yes. So it was just so nice to have like our own Christmas mm -hmm. tradition. Yeah, yeah. So I remember so, that. That was always so. It was so much, much fun. fun. Yeah. So much fun. Yeah. So, but that's anyway. one of the things I do now is I have yeah. the kids. At some point in time, we try to figure out, okay, who's coming for breakfast? Yeah. And I try to do a special breakfast. Yeah. So, but it's going to be different this year having grandkids. Yeah. So, we'll they're to, not yeah. all going to be over Christmas morning. Yeah. So, it's like, mm, yeah, I know. But we, we rotate every year. Yeah. When my husband and I got engaged, we rotated. His family sort of started it. His, um, it would be Christmas dinner one year uh, on Christmas Day at the one house, and then the following year, the Christmas Day dinner would be at the other, uh, at his uncle's house, mm -hmm. because his mother's mm -hmm. an only child. So it was just between the two of them. Yeah. So it got to the point where when they all the kids started having relationships, serious relationships, getting engaged and married and that, we rotated, okay, you're having Christmas Day dinner, okay, well then my side would have it like this year it's my husband's side of the family for christmas day dinner and then on boxing mm -hmm. day it's our side of the family mm -hmm. so everybody will be coming over here for christmas yes. dinner so that we rotate it that way and yeah. it's so much fun yeah yeah so much no, it's, fun it's it's really it's yeah you got to try and figure out some way like uh, i know I, I know it just must get so complicated I know. with with various family members. I know. So well, that's and it's, I, it's just it's worked out quite well yeah. for for us. And anyway. I've just I've told my kids. I said, these are the days. You have to make it to one of the dinners. Yeah. Because I know one family they only do it Christmas Day, so we never see that son for Christmas Day dinner. Yeah. And so we'll always see him Boxing Day, whichever whether it's mm -hmm. here or at my mother in law's. Mm -hmm. So like it's always things like that. Yeah. So we just figured out, we let everybody know ahead of time. Okay. Yeah. And I write it on the calendar. Really? <laughs> as soon as I get the new calendar, I write it on. Okay. So I switch it for next, for next year. year. I write it on right away or else it's like, because it's like <laughs> about, a year. Where was I? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but so, yeah, so much fun. But so, yeah, for me, this would be like a new tradition to start is the Christmas mm -hmm. Eve cast on because yes. I've never done that before. So. Yeah, neither have I. Yeah. So I yes. thought I'm going to do that this year because yes. it just sounds like such like the perfect thing to do. Yes. Now, I'll try and work so on fun. something in the interim and I may even start something Maybe else. Maybe I'll between. work from the soft light. We can both work. Yes, that would be fun. We can both light. do it and we can yeah. compare notes and see yes. what it's like. Ooh, we can do that as a thing. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah. But... Um, so the, I think the other thing I was going to mention, oh, I know what I was going to mention. So yes. we have, we have uh, some new to us, new to us. So this is Just stuff we got bit. in the, in the mailbox. Mail. Yeah. So, um, so I guess it, I think it was for Black Friday or Black Cyber, Friday, Monday Cyber Monday or something that like that. weekend. Anyway, small business Saturday, something, something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Um, we, uh, ended up 
purchasing two uh, volumes, two rib magazines. And volume they, two and three. Yeah, and we were so excited. Well, I, I, think, know. I mean, we've, volume two, we've been volume fortunate three. because we've actually seen these um, yes. probably before they hit the stands as it yes. were. Because sometimes we've been um, at an event and Eric has been there and he'll show so he'll have one on him yes. and show them and yes. stuff. So yes. I've always and looked. And plus we're very lucky because a couple of our friends actually just knit, knit some, some of the things. things so I think this the is magazine. the most recent that one. That is one. Yeah, Alca that's number uh, three, Alchemy? Alchemy. Yes, that's the newest well, one. Isn't that gorgeous sweater? I know. So um, Eric of the Sticks Plus Twine, I don't think he's really podcasting much these days because he's, he's quite very busy. busy. Very, very but busy. Um, he started this amazing magazine with... Um, Devin and Jenny. Yeah. Jenny used to be Tiny Paper Foxes. She's now the Handmade in Woolen podcast. Yeah. Um, so, they live in Vermont. Yeah. So, um, and I think one of them is a photographer. Yeah. Devin's a photographer. So, yeah. So, the, anyway, they came up with this concept. And these are beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful. Like, and the paper the, the is paper really quality, good. I mean, I, I've worked in publishing all my life. And so I can tell that the paper quality is amazing mm -hmm. the layout is fantastic yes one of the things i love about um this magazine is that see this each has kind of a theme so this one is alchemy and here mm -hmm. he's talking about the chemistry of color um so somebody often will write um and here's somebody does this uh why i knit this one is from jared flood Yes. Um, and it's, the whole thing is, yes. And the magazine is about, um, it's, um, it's, it's knitting for men, for men or people who knit for like them. Like men who knit and yes. or people who knit for men. Yes. And they, he's just got some like gorgeous, I find he's always got like sweaters. He's got I socks. Yeah, I mean, those ones follow... Amy makes, those are her socks. She put yep. the, she mentioned it on her podcast. So, that she, yeah, she did those. Yeah, there's the socks there. I know, they're gorgeous. I don't want to show anything other than the photo. Yeah. But, yeah, so the socks, they have hats. Um, anything, so anything that you might make for a man, whatever your skill level is yeah. or whatever your comfort level as far as mm -hmm. items to knit, hats, socks, mitts, fingerless gloves, scarves, pullovers yeah there's always like something there for you yes. so um anyway yeah we were really excited because of course i know and i love this one this yeah. is like tons, that one's called navigate tom tons of cables mm -hmm. in their cable sweaters like just absolutely gorgeous it's stunning because look at the just back stunning. look at the back of that sweater it's so beautiful yeah so I don't know who we're gonna make these things for. No, well, I mean you, I've got, got three I've got three sons, sons so. and a husband that that would uh, definitely wear them. I showed yeah. you some of these things, and showed the boys some of the patterns, and they were like, "Oh, that's yeah. really nice." Mom. My husband like, yeah. looked at some as well, and he was really he was sweaters. quite impressed with them. So yeah, so that we got in the mailbox this past mm -hmm. week, and very excited. We haven't decided yet who's knit worthy. <laughs> I know. I, you know what? My boys are. Yeah. Um, but I know you're... They you're, all know that they would be... I, they all know to be very careful when washing yes. things. So, But, you know, w what to do and I like those like, socks. I love, I love socks. those socks. Look at the socks. I love those socks as They're well. They're gorgeous. They've got a little... I don't know if you can see, but there's a bit of a cable there. Yeah. There we go. That's much better. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So we're going to figure out what we're going to do... That actually it would be kind of neat to do a cow, mm -hmm. like a rib cow from Rib Magazine. Yeah. yeah. I think that would be really cool. Yes. And look, so. this one's going to, the gear, uh, the, uh, the uh, Luca interchangeable needles. And there's mm -hmm. a huge thing about them, huge article about them yeah. in there. So it's it's not just patterns, but it is yeah. actually um, really interesting in the theme of of the magazine so mm -hmm. um you can still get these online um, yes so if you want to go in and, and take a look yes um but i oh, think that would be kind of fun they're just beautiful love and love, love, love the, them. The, everything is kind of um classic enough that you would use this pattern 
if you knit you something now it. and then perhaps you have a 10 years from now they could still wear it. you know in 10 years because you might such knit a, for a son yes yeah you could do that it's such a classic because they are very classic mm -hmm. so so we're really excited about that and then i think the other thing i was going to mention is last year around this time so many podcasters were talking about bullet journals mm -hmm. and the bujo and yeah. and i remember doing all kinds of research and i ended up just using um, my own a, a book that I have that just had lined very thin lined paper but yes. I just thought I have it so I'm going to use it mm -hmm. so you may remember this mm -hmm. amazing book that um, and it's furry it's too. furry to the touch <laughs> so somebody my manager at the time gave this to me for my birthday I think um a couple uh, like many you yes. know I'm saying like five six years ago she yeah. gave this to me and which is and it was a lot of fun and um so what I, I started out doing different, trying to figure out ways. So I, How, I did what, the whole, what she wants to do. I did the whole with the contents and then I skipped a page cause I was actually going to, you know, okay. She put, added more. Uh, yeah. Got more pages. Space. And then I did like my January. That's what it looked like. And I had like, it started with a habit tracker and I think I did like books. Um, so I have this, uh, end of Mondo, um, app for walking and uh so i could track that and then i was doing like gratitude my word for 2017 was creativity or create mm -hmm. and i thought i would write out like what i would do for each month you did it once i didn't do that so i ended up doing so this is actually closer to what i ended up doing so on here i did um you know, yeah. just the calendar. And I just drew in a bunch of little, like little Boxes flowers. And, yeah. and I yeah. wrote something because I don't even know what it says. Press there. on past fear. Okay. So, and then I used it as a calendar. And now for the calendar portion, I only write like neat things. Like mm -hmm. I'm not going to write my doctor's appointment, my dentist appointment. Yeah. I'll like, that's what my phone is for. It'll send me a little reminder. <laughs> but like this is for you know, important things in Jeez. life, yeah. right? So that's what I wrote. And then I ha I'd have my habits over here. Um, yes. So I have my habits. So She's writing, really good on a few of them. yoga, meditation, art, reading, knitting, and friends, spending time with friends. Yeah. Um, friends or family, but I there's mm -hmm. only so much room. And then, yeah. you know, I wrote out what my, the books that I was reading whips I was working on and I tracked my month of end of Mondo, how much walking I did. Very good. So I found that really worked the best. I'm going to skip for March you. because Yeah, for me. So same thing again, my April. So I've just been doing this and I found that I was actually like, I found this for my habit tracker. Awesome. Like, That's I great. Just, I love, it makes me feel really good every day, putting a little X. That's great. X beside stuff. Mm -hmm. So I just, I have continued doing that through. And I'm really happy because the biggest thing that I see is I have been spending the top row, all the X's. Is her writing. Is my writing. So you can see I've been doing like a ton of yes. writing this year. Yeah. So I'm really pleased Which with Which you it. started right in January. January 8th, and, I think, yeah. I started. I and you've been writing words so a day. much and you love and it. And look at all the books I was reading. Now, granted, I, I, I'm on Goodreads and they have a challenge every year mm -hmm. um, to see about how many books you're going to read. You say, I'm going to read X number of books. And I think I said 24 this year because I thought, well, two books a month. <laughs> and you've two read books more. A month. Oh, yes. Well, way more. <laughs> But I have um, a lot of them, because I'm writing romance novels, and it's kind of a genre I hadn't read, like, really read, really in, a read in a long time. So I started going to the library, getting out, like, a ton of romance novels. Yes. Well, they're really fast reads. Yeah. So when I see, look at all the books I've read. You know, the bulk of them are romance novels. Yeah. Although I have read. But she's still reading. She, you're I've, reading I'm like still two reading a them. week, some of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Three or four yeah, a week. Yeah, because they just. Three or four. Yeah, because there's so just many. The small ones. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I'm, and now I'm tracking my whips. And um, so that was November. So that's the most recent one I have. Look how good I'm doing. Very good. 
a lot of a lot of knitting and a lot of books and whips and on demando and mm -hmm. so I'm really really happy. So I haven't really done much reading this month. So this is December. How about writing? Uh, I haven't done have much writing. You know what's happened? Um, I gave You've Amanda a lot. Yes. one, um, and then I have another one that I went back to and I was like, I hate the storyline. I hate this plot line. I love these characters. I've got to figure out something else. Mm -hmm. So I've been spending basically all of December revamping and coming up with different scenarios. And so I'll be writing, I'm sort of writing mm -hmm. out, okay, this is how this would plot. And then I write out all the sort of what, the question, no, the questions yeah. like, well, what, what happens? Why would she do this? And what, how does this happen? Okay, yeah. And all the things that I think aren't working for me to think about. Anyway, over yesterday and today, I think I may have come up with something oh, very this, good. that I can rework and keep the main characters. Yes. Um, so anyway, um, so I haven't really been writing, writing, but mm -hmm. I've been kind of outlining, I guess. Well, that's stuff. good. It's so, still, it's still it's getting still, that thought yeah. process out. Yeah. But Which is very good. I am happy to report that I have crossed off one of my whips, my holly dolly socks. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So I think I'm just going to keep doing that. I was looking at the, and I can't pronounce it because it's got a sort of German sounding name, the Liebschig or something, that, that book that I... I really like the look of it and it's got okay. like dots so you can draw lines. Oh, okay. Yeah. You want. So you can adjust it yourself. Yes. Yeah. Um, the 1917 or something. Yeah. It's called. They're, oh, I know. They're yeah. very, very nice. They're really nice. And I was on Amazon, I think, and I was looking at them or maybe I was on the website and looking and I thought, should I splurge and spend, I don't know, it was like 40 bucks or if something. If you're going to though, the way you've been at it, I, and the way you would use, I think it would be worth your while. I know. I just I feel do. bad when I've got something like this. I know. Perfectly I know. Well, I know viable. because <laughs> I did that too, though mine is not as organized as you. I ended up. But I, what I find funny is nobody's really talking about it anymore. I this know. Year. I know. You know, it was like a big thing last year. I know. Nobody's talking about it. See, because I. That's why I wanted to bring it up in case yes. anybody else is thinking about doing the yeah. same thing or. See, I did my calendar over two pages and mm. I drew in all the lines. This was just one. I forget where I got this at Walmart or something mm -hmm. like that. And it's got, it's good, thick paper. Yeah. Yeah. But then I would put a week between the two pages mm -hmm. so I could write something in it if I wanted to mm -hmm. um, and I really didn't do too much I was basically writing anything and everything in it because that's kind of who I am <laughs> uh, my habit tracker sucks so I didn't even continue on with that no I find it's you kind of have to figure you know you I think do I should stuff. do it this way though putting the week in one week per page because mm -hmm. I like having a lot of room to write if I'm okay. going to write, I like having a lot of room to write. Yeah. So that was it. And like I did, like I, I did at the end of January, put like a month in review. So hmm. what I had done, what episodes we had uh, recorded, what I had finished and things like that. And oh, yeah. So what this is all knit knitting and related? Knitting yeah. related. And what came in. Right. Right. And that way it helps you track that, which is really something I should do yeah. a bit more of. Because you know what I'm really bad it's at? It's not as good as whenever I'd like I, it to Whenever be. I get yarn, like all that yarn that we got in Kitchener yeah. and all that yarn we got at um, at Rhinebeck, I haven't added that to my stash Me either. thing on Ravelry, yeah. which is actually a really good place to kind of track because yes. a lot of times I find I, I go, so I haven't, you know those plastic drawers you can get? Uh, that are on like a, a rolly the thing. Tupperware. It's like a Tupperware or rubber type rubber, rubber made or something, or something yes. like that. And, and it's got like their different he heights mm -hmm. each drawer. So I have all my yarn in that because mm -hmm. I figure it's kind of plastic. And so, you know, it'll keep any bugs out if, yes. if, if you know. And so I have all my yarn in that. And like when I was going looking at my stuff, I was like, oh, I forgot about I forgot this. I forgot I had this. I yeah, forgot I had I that. I forgot yeah. I had that. And it's terrible. I shouldn't I know. be forgetting something like that. But Yeah. Oh, I know. I know. Really, mm -hmm. you almost have to spend a day and have someone with you. Yes. So you can sort of like spread it all out. Yeah. 
take, take your pictures, some pictures and you and catalog and, it yeah. into right into your uh, Ravelry account right yeah. then and there. Yeah. So, so. Hmm. I know. I think that that's uh, one of the. I know. I've got so much stuff that isn't cataloged in my Ravelry. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I, I have to say though, it is really fun when you go and you're opening. Well, for me, in my yeah, case, opening, opening the drawer. And oh, you're look like, what oh, I found! found. Like, what, what can I make with that? <laughs> it's like shopping, and you yeah. didn't even know no, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shopping my own. I know. Well, yeah. that's why I keep mine in the clear bags, yeah. anyways. Yeah. And when I have a pattern or something I want to do, then I just sort of mm -hmm. go, hmm. Yeah. What jumps out at me? Yeah. So. so Anyway, so yeah, I, I'm just curious if anybody else does bullet journals and if anybody's as interested, because like mm -hmm. I said, last year, this seemed to be a hot topic. Yes, I know. Um, many people were talking yes, about it. and I know. And a lot of people were talking yes, about it. Yes, and like, you could go on. I know Opera Joe was doing one, and I know Katie of Inside 23 was, was doing two. one okay. as well, and there were other people as well that I can't recall, yeah. but were also doing them, and I'm just... And no. I'm not, not hearing it this year. So no. anyway, I just thought, I'm going to share this. And the other thing, too, is like I said, my word for this year was create. Yes. And um, I think I kind of held to that this yes, year. Yes, because I've you've been a writing a lot. So writing. you've been very creative. So um, I, I, I've been trying to think about mm -hmm. a word for 2018 and, and kind of what I want to focus on in 2018. Um, so I haven't really come up with anything yet. Mm -hmm. a lot of the things I've read about coming up with a word is it's sort of like if you're reading things and you're watching TV and you're, you know, out and about, whatever, and conversations and a something, a topic kind of keeps coming up. It's mm -hmm. sort of like serendipitously you, it's coming to you that Can perhaps I say that couch like potato achy joints. <laughs> I know it's not one word, but no, no. <laughs> so I'm going, okay, what would be what, slug? Yeah, no, <laughs> that's, that's how I, not coming no, up in I, your life. Though. No, that's how I feel. No, no. that's how I it's feel. It's supposed to feel. be stuff that, you know, every At time times. you read something yes. or you see a post on Instagram or yeah. you're reading an article online or something, it's sort of like, it's something that you're, you're seeing constantly. Yeah. Um, and so it's sort of like, oh, the universe is trying to tell me I need to focus on this. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, I, I'm, I haven't figured out what that is Me for either. 2018. So I'm I'm trying to kind of be a little more aware, um, and see. I know if, if something. I try kind to. Of comes I just. I try to. Keep, I know. I try to keep away negativity. Mm -hmm. So, but that's probably a yeah. constant. Yeah. Right. It's a constant. Thing. It is. It is. Cause, it is. Yeah. Because it's it's difficult, especially nowadays. I find oh, there's, there's a lot so much of negative neg stuff out there, yeah. and it's always in your face. Yeah. And, oh. Yeah. So, but yeah, so I'm trying to figure out. That. Yes. Um, so I think oh, you'll come up. We have one more thing that we, we have need to do. Probably something that everybody here we yes. are going on and on. And I'm sure that everybody is actually trying to. Who won? Uh, who, find won? Out who won this? So, so there we go. There's our um, cozy knitter. Cozy knitter. Gingerbread house. Yeah. On her basic. Um, what is this? Bliss face. Under Which bliss face. So, it's so not there's no sparkle. sparkle. Um, I'm pull that so you can there's see only, it. There's only all three people. There were only three people uh, who posted in the F in, in the, the finish FO off. thread. Um, and it was closed off. Yes. And so she was put the three names in a, in yeah, a bucket. Because if there's only three. It's hard to pick number two, three, or four. Yeah. <laughs> With uh, Siri. I figure that's always. So we yeah. put it in. I put each name in a bucket, and Margaret's gonna okay. pick. So, and everybody did really nice stuff, and it was yes. nice. And what was fun too is in the chatter thread is people writing, and we could have like yes. little conversations. So yes, it was so quite nice. This is the one that I picked. And oh, it is it's oh Joanne from Port Hardy. Jo Hardy. Jo Joanne. Yay! Get in contact with uh, one of with, us with Margaret, okay? Because I'll give it to you and okay. you'll post it off. Yeah. So, so she will. So you won. Woohoo! Woo so yeah, you got the. So you're gonna get this, and it should be out uh, by mon Monday. So yay! Look what you win. 
Oh, so excited God, for I'm you. I'm really excited for you. And like, it's not the same color. I know what her Christmas Eve cast on is going to be. Yeah. It's not going to be the same no. colors, but you can see how gorgeous. This is gingerbread. And so this is it's Holly got the Jolly. brown in it. This so it's got, got a light green, a darker green, a white, a red, a red and a, a brown. brown. So, so actually, I think there's two shades of brown there. So, possibly, but you can see yeah. how yes. absolutely gorgeous yep. these are going to, that's going to yes. get up. So, so, yay! Yay! And I'm so happy for awesome, you. Awesome, Joanne. Yes. So happy. So, um, I think that's everything. Uh, that is it. That so. is it. Uh, when we record next time, we are, we're thinking up, um, we're, we're, new we're talking about to have. knit-alongs for next year. So, um, if you have some ideas, we'd be quite happy. We're open yeah. to it. Um, yeah happy to hear about them mm -hmm. um we have a couple of ideas ourselves so we're yep. got to talk them through and figure out how they would work but yeah, yes we're really excited about that mm -hmm. um for the for the next so when do you think we're gonna we're gonna record again in two weeks or one week or we're not really sure because it's getting yes. really close to christmas yes in two weeks it's the 21st 21st and that's and that's really getting very so close to christmas it is um so it may either be next it, it's either next, next week, week or the week after well, simple that's, is that. that's the week after yeah, is the 21st. I know, but so. it, it'll, it'll either be the 14th or the 21st First, that we're yeah. going to record again. So we'll yeah. just, a lot of it also depends on your schedule yeah, with editing. Because if you have anything else that comes up, you, it, yeah, it's sometimes, so. especially, that's why we try to do it every other every week. week yeah. Because it, she can sort of cram stuff, stuff in, in and work yeah. around the couple of days that she's out here. Yeah. So, so yeah. Uh, that's everything for now. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for joining us and, um, we will talk to you again soon before the end of 2017. Yes, we will. Um, so have okay. a good couple of weeks yes. and we will talk to you soon. Yes. Happy holidays, everyone. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.